It is super important not just to stand with Israel, is to stand against terrorism. A show of support in blue and white as pro-Israel demonstrators posted their message on all corners of a busy Bellevue intersection. It says Israel always in my heart. I was born there. I grew up there. Um, I take part in the Israeli scouts. I'm a head counselor there. Israel has to be able to defend and protect it themselves. The Israeli and American flags flying side by side as Israeli nationals and their stateside supporters stand in solidarity with the Jewish state. Families, kids and many more protesting Hamas's acts of terrorism against innocent civilians. My family's there, my friends are there and I care about the place a lot. It's hard knowing that people you're close with, this is their reality right now. Daron Avitan tells us his cousins in Israel hid from Hamas attacks for nearly a day before they could check on their kids. They heard the shots in the street, they sh heard the screams in the street. Of course, there were missiles all the time. A spokesperson with the Israeli American Council says it planned a peaceful rally in this time of mourning for the victims and their families. There was some direction from police controlling traffic and keeping the crowds on the sidewalks. This group grateful for a show of support while honoring those who have passed or are still missing. Take care of the wounded. Take care of the families that lost their loved ones. Return back all the people and civilians that were kidnapped. That's the first priority for Israel and for me. Reporting in Bellevue, Jackie Kent, Come On News. And as Jackie mentioned, it was a peaceful rally of a few hundred people. There were small disruptions from one car driving by a passenger yelling free Palestine and one man often seen preaching outside T-Mobile Park urging people to repent.